Yeah, so uh, it was in uh, 1994, 30 years ago now, uh, that I was asked to uh, create an, uh, a wireless system for a mobile phone to, to connect uh, to nearby devices. So uh, actually it was, uh, the idea was to add value to the phone. Uh, and at that, that moment, uh, we did not have these kind of uh, systems that could connect to nearby uh, devices. So we, the mobile phone itself could connect to a base station. Uh, Wi-Fi was not around yet. So um, yeah, I had to look for a new system that uh, would operate quite differently than the system that are already there. Uh, and the main difference was that uh, in mobile phones or in uh, in Wi-Fi devices, you always uh, connect to a base station or a hotspot or whatever, uh, which is uh, not restricted in power. Uh, but uh, for a system like Bluetooth, where you uh, want to connect uh, devices that are only uh, battery operated, you need a completely different kind of uh, setup. So it was it's more like uh, the idea of a uh, walkie-talkie, two devices talking to each other without any support of an infrastructure. And uh, I had to uh, come up with a uh, system uh, with low cost, low power, that could fit in the phone and uh, could fit also in other devices, of course. And uh, well, one of the main problems in these kind of systems that where you don't have these hierarchical separation between base stations, hotspots and, and, and phones or uh, whatever, or laptops, is uh, that you need to uh, find new ways uh, that, peop that uh, devices can find each other. Uh, uh, so if they are in each other's range, the radio has to be able to find the other radio and especially to do that uh, in, in a quick way and uh, at low power, that's a challenge and that um, yeah, that was the invention of, uh, of uh, I placed into the Bluetooth uh, system. Yeah, so uh, when we uh, started uh, this uh, at Denver, uh, I was in a research environment and uh, uh, well, if you have technology, that doesn't mean directly that you can, uh, can use it. You need to create an ecosystem and to create this ecosystem and even to, to create the, the technology that is stable uh, to do all this. It takes at least 10 years. It, it, if you look at uh, in the past, if you look at new technologies that had introduced in the, uh, the marketplace, it's about a decade. Uh, and we also knew that we could not do it alone because to create an ecosystem, uh, I came from a company that made mobile phones, but they did not make uh, laptops, they did not make other yeah, kind of devices that could, could connect to this mobile phone. So we had uh, to go out and cooperate with other companies and get them on board uh, to, uh, to support this system. And while we knew also that in the end they would become competitors because uh, there were also uh, mobile phone companies that uh, joined uh, this uh, group uh, of uh, introducing the Bluetooth standard. Uh, and uh, therefore, you know that in the beginning, you have to be very uh, cooperative. All the noses have to be in the same direction. Uh, but in the end, uh, yeah, when the system is completely uh, 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 finalized, then it's time, okay, that you get into the marketplace and you have your different uh, uh, products. And one of the things also to, uh, to be able to um, uh, to get the system accepted in the marketplace uh, and also by uh, supporting by the other companies, uh, you have to uh, take away barriers like uh, things with uh, IPR patents, uh, intellectual property, licensing fees that people want to get for the, the uh, investments in their uh, technology. If you make, if you start with that and make them too high, then yeah, people fall off and will not follow you. So. That was also a special thing in the, in the Bluetooth community when we started it, that these barriers were very low or even absent. Yeah, so uh, during my 30 years now with Bluetooth, I've seen a lot of new applications uh, for this uh, uh, standard. Uh, it started out with uh, a headset. Uh, the mobile phone had to talk to an, a wireless, uh, uh, wirelessly to an, a headset application. Uh, but in the uh, yeah, after that, uh, so many other applications ca came around and. Well, what I'm now seeing in, in the near future that uh, uh, we are dealing with a problem that uh, more and more of people, especially in Europe, are aging, getting an aging uh, in the situation where maybe 25% of the population will be uh, uh, older than uh, 65, uh, 70 years. And uh, by uh, using technologies, uh, we can increase uh, the, uh, the well-being of these people. And especially with uh, sensors and with uh, remote healthcare, 
uh, wisely controlled, uh, also connected uh, with Bluetooth on, on your body. I see in, uh, a great uh, future uh, to uh, to support the uh, uh, the, uh, the aging people. Myself, for, for example, I'm working with uh, hearing protection and hearing aid uh, devices, also controlled by Bluetooth. And uh, I, th I see that uh, it will be more and more important in, in the near future. Yeah, well, the lack of creativity is that I think uh, that uh, um, uh, many people, they are looking at uh, things that exist and evaluate and then uh, do an evolution of things that are already there. So they look at uh, an, uh, a solution, extend it, or look at an, a concept, extend it, and hope that that, that will make the, the, the thing uh, uh, fly. Uh, what I think is that for these kind of uh, groundbreaking uh, uh, concepts you really have to have this re revolution idea so you have to challenge all existing possibilities existing ideas and yeah in that way you can uh, move them to a completely uh, new uh, concept and also that means that uh, you should not be uh, uh, too afraid of uh, boundary conditions uh, if you uh, look too early at restrictions that you think okay it cannot be built or it has too much power or other restrictions that it cannot be done yeah then you're discouraged to uh, to continue so yeah you have to have an open mind and, and putting aside those restrictions uh, th those are coming later when you really have to uh, realize uh, the concept and uh, get to an implementation where product can be made